From his childhood days, Marco longed to be a sculptor. At this waterfront gallery, you can see how the expression of bronze caught his imagination. This looks interesting. What does it symbolize? Uh, it's the freedom sculpture. I, I really enjoyed making it. It uh, was a very difficult project. As you can see, the texture that's on it with some really big challenges about it. I wanted to let it symbolize man and the battles man will face. And so it was created out of the viewpoint of where man is and what, what man faces. The only story more incredible than your art is the fact that you've been hit by lightning three times and they say it doesn't strike in the same place twice. Yeah, I know that sounds pretty uh, crazy, but it's absolutely true. First time I was a young boy, I was busy cooking and the lightning struck me through the window. Second time as I was out fishing and the weather turned bad and we all climbed on the back of the bucky and at some stage I jumped off and they told me I was struck in mid-air by lightning. The third time was I went to go play golf in America, and after the event, uh, the weather turned bad on the boat ride back. It was a yacht. It required somebody to close up all the sails. And while I was busy doing it, the next moment this flash just came and I got flung through the boat. And I lay between everybody and I, I lost a few sec seconds of what happened. That's actually the one time that I know that it was a direct strike. And uh, well, God has a plan with my life and that's why I'm here today. Bronze casting is expensive, and to afford his passion, Marco has sustained himself by working in aircraft engineering, as a golf pro, and running his own interior design business. It's so incredible to see all your work in one space. Where do you get your inspiration from? Inspiration can come from many forms. We share the planet with really remarkable people, and uh, I mean animals too. I mean, I look at this mountain, and. Uh, in some of my sculptures, you can see that the mountain depicts some of the rock work and, you know, the rough textures. And when you're driving next to the road and you find a special rock, I mean, it talks to us, specifically as sculptors. How would you describe your style as an artist? I think pretty much from the onset, I've always loved texture. And uh, I think the incompleteness makes it complete for me. When people walk into the gallery, their first question is, why are things the following way? And I think that's pretty much what I hope to achieve. At Marco's foundry, we came to watch a bronze casting known as the lost wax process. The technique was invented by the ancient Greeks and hasn't changed much for two and a half thousand years. Marco, what makes this process unique? If a sculptor makes a, a sculpture, you will choose a different medium to work from. You will either sculpt from outside in, that means he's carving it away, or you'll use an armature and build from inside out. The piece will then be brought to a foundry and they will say to us we'd like to have this in bronze. We will then make a silicon fiberglass mold and the mold is so that we can create a wax. This part will then be prepared and dipped into a ceramic solution to prepare it to build up a shell as you can see here. Before pouring the bronze you have a wax sculpture inside a rock-like shell of hardened silica sand and slurry. The shell is baked in a kiln to melt the wax leave a cavity in the shape of the sculpture. The molten bronze then takes the exact form of the original sculpture. Once we've poured the hot metal in, from the next step, we will then chisel off all the ceramics, remove the gating system with a grinder. Finally, once the piece is complete, it will be assembled on a stand, and then it will basically get colors. I'd really like you to meet Derek, my right-hand man, and he's busy working on a piece, and I think you'll be interested in seeing what it looks like. The three years he's worked with Derek de Tiose have been some of Marco's best. Have you learned a lot from Marco? A lot of things Marco is teaching me, but me also are teaching from my side. Yeah, yeah we've also been very privileged to learn a lot from Derek. He's a very valuable asset to the company and uh, he's involved with all the processes and uh, he's learned all the processes and pretty much to perfect them, and that is largely also the reason why I'm a successful in what we do. What began with horse and rhino sculptures has diversified into a world in bronze. Being in the art industry is quite a challenge. Do you have any advice for upcoming artists? Well, I think the first word that comes to mind is sustainability. They need to find a way to let art be a sustainable uh, income for them. I would 
probably give young artists the advice to, to start with it on a sideline basis and, and keep something that keeps them alive and then afterwards, I mean, if, if art's working for you, I mean, you'll grow into the, where you need to be. Marco, thank you for showing me the amount of work that goes into each sculpture. It certainly gives me a new appreciation for what you do. It's an absolute pleasure. With his work shipping internationally, Marco Ulifir is living his childhood dream.